Alright, in this video I'm going to talk about graphing polar curves and I graphed a, a few polar regions. I'm going to do some that are slightly more complicated in this video and then some that are even a little more complicated in another. So the things you need to remember are the basic relationships r squared equals x squared plus y squared, x equals r cosine theta, y equals r sine theta, um, there's one with tangent, but I don't think we'll really need it just yet, or at least not in my examples. In the first one it says graph r equals 2. So what this basically says to do is, think about, you know, if you're graphing in x and y coordinates, the line y equals 2. Well, y equals 2 is a horizontal line, and if you think about it, you're basically putting a dot everywhere where there's a y coordinate of 2 and well that makes the horizontal line r equals 2 you're doing the same thing you're putting a dot everywhere the radius is 2 but you don't care what the angle theta is so here's a radius of 2 2 and if you think about it the shape you're going to end up getting everywhere there's a radius of 2 is just going to be a circle so here's my bad circle and notice um, what was I going to say? I think that's all I want to say. Oh, okay, no, what I did want to say was, um, notice if you plug in r, if you solve for r, and our r squared equals x squared plus y squared, we'll get that r is the square root of x squared plus y squared, and that's equal to 2. If we square both sides, we get x squared plus y squared equals 4, and hey, x squared plus y squared equals 4, that is a circle of radius 2 centered at the origin. So that, that would be another way to graph it. it. It would be to convert it back into Cartesian coordinates. Okay. Sorry, I spaced out there for a second. All right, so let's graph another one. Um, r equals tangent of secant theta. Well, I'm going to rewrite tangent as sine theta over cosine theta. We know that secant of theta is 1 over cosine of theta. And the reason I'm doing that is, again, you know, to get it in terms of x and y coordinates, if I want to graph it that way, I need to have cosines of thetas and sines of thetas in there. All right, so what do we have here? This gives us that r equals sine of theta over cosine squared theta. And now I'm going to just multiply both sides of this by cosine squared theta, and that'll give me r times cosine squared of theta equals sine of theta. And now at this point, what I'm going to do is simply multiply both sides by r. I'll get r squared cosine squared theta equals r sine theta. And the reason I'm doing that is because notice now I've got an r sine theta on the right side so I can replace that with y. I've really got an r cosine theta on the left if I write it as r cosine of theta squared. So that's equal to r sine of theta. We know that r cosine of theta, that's the same thing as x squared r sine of theta is y, so now we've got uh, an equation for our graph in Cartesian coordinates, and we know what y equals x squared looks like. That's just going to be a parabola opening upwards. Okay, so kind of interesting that you can go from this polar form back into a more recognizable Cartesian form, just kind of using those, uh, those relationships. So let's do two more kind of basic ones. Um, theta equals negative pi over 6. Well, this is just like the r equals 2 one. Um, everywhere that the angle is negative pi over 6, we don't care what the radius is. So let's draw the angle negative pi over 6. Let me squeeze this in there. So negative pi over 6 would just go down a little bit. And the radius would just go out that way 
and likewise if you reflect it if you have a negative r value and that's what the graph of theta equals negative pi over 6 is. It says everywhere there's an angle of negative pi over 6 we don't care what the radius is <clears throat> and you'll get that graph. Alright let's do one more here. So in this one we're going to graph r squared minus 3r plus 2. The easiest way to graph this one um, would be simply to factor this thing. I left out one part, this is why I'm confused. Let's set this equal to 0, that makes a little more sense. So we want to graph r squared minus 3r plus 2 equals 0. So we can actually just factor this as r minus 2, r minus 1 equals 0. And that gives us r equals 2 or r equals 1 solving these factored parts. So now all we have to do is graph the circle r equals 1. Again, that's just a circle of radius 1. And graph r equals 2. Well, that would just be a circle of radius 2. Okay, and that would be the graph of the equation, the polar equation, r squared minus 3r plus 2 equals 0. So in another video I'm going to do some uh, slightly more complicated ones because they're more time consuming where we'll kind of graph angles for theta and then we'll do kind of an xy form and then transform it. So if that's what you're looking for, dig around, I'll have it in another video shortly.